This is really bad. Do you want to taste it on camera? Yeah. I give it a two star. It's like two in the morning. My boyfriend just got home from Crescent City. He bought a bunch of stuff from Walmart. I know it's in Winco bags, but it's actually from Walmart. He's just reusing some bags that he found in the trunk of the car because they charge for bags in California now. He bought some interesting things. Here's some gluten-free beef pho from the Asian section. And a few other interesting things in the Asian section. I think this is what Chinese restaurants add to sweet and sour soup. Bamboo shoots that are already like chopped up and soft and in a red sauce. So if you ever want to make authentic sweet and sour soup, don't get bamboo shoots and chop them up yourself. Get this. This is one of the things that gives it that red glow. If you've ever eaten sweet and sour soup and had like little beads of like reddish oil floating on your spoon that are kind of shiny and glow in the light, that comes from this. And he got mango nectar from Concentrate. I think this is corn syrup in it. Yeah, it does. This gluten-free stuff has corn syrup in it too. Anyway, I think my water is boiling. I'm going to try one of these soups. I was going to stop recording at that point, but I wanted to show you that I cannot open this. I literally can't open it. Oh, I got it, finally. It was very difficult to open. And they give you a little sriracha packet and a seasoning packet. And I think that's it, other than the noodles. Oh, there are some preserved vegetables already in the bottom there. See that? About a week ago, my mom, who lives in New Jersey, actually texted me a picture of this same soup, saying that she saw it at the Walmart in New Jersey. She asked me if it was any good. I guess she thought that I had tried every single variety of gluten-free Asian noodles that they make. She was incorrect. I have not tried this one. Mainly because I usually buy ones from Asian markets, and this is like an Americanized version. It's made for the American market. One of the ways you can tell is that it doesn't have actual MSG in the ingredients. And, oh, that's interesting. It says it's made in a factory that produces wheat, but it says it's gluten-free. Huh. I'm already a little disappointed in this soup, and I haven't even tried it yet because I had to cut the sriracha sauce packet open with scissors, and that was very annoying. That one seems like it's really geared toward the American market because it's like sriracha and everything. I don't know. Yeah, this is definitely made for the American market. It's like they don't know what a Thai chili is, but everyone knows what sriracha is. I think the ones made for the Asian market might be too spicy and taste too strongly of MSG for a lot of Americans. All right, people, I am going to try this soup. As you can see, my boyfriend is already starting to unload the bags of stuff that he bought. Oh, he bought this roasted coconut water. This is good. It does have preservatives in it. it contains sulfites. See that? It does have sulfites in it. I do eat things with some preservatives and food additives. Or not allergic to. Wow, we got more stuff. Lots of stuff. I didn't realize it, but I got mints in it trash bags. Oh no. <laughs> My clothes are going to smell like mint. Rodent repellent mint scent. Well, that'll help. It's hilarious. I'm sure the rats will chew right through it to get to the trash inside. We'll actually be able to test that product. <laughs> I'm, interested stuff. I'm gonna try this soup now. Until I put enough water in it, 
but there's almost no broth. I got this here. It was the cheapest tea, and it was. Uh, Show it off on camera. I don't want to move my face. It has real sugar, no corn syrup. That's wonderful. I wanted to get cheap tea, no corn syrup. That's terrible. Terrible, I figured it would be. The noodles are too thick. I got it's it. like almost cool, but they're too firm. I think this soup needs to be like boiled for a few minutes. I got this because it's cheaper than the co-op. Show it's that off on camera. And what did you pay for that versus what you pay at the co-op? This is six dollars at the co-op, and they sometimes have a dollar off coupon. Six dollars? It's six dollars at the co-op. And you got it for three? Yeah, three fifty. Sorry for like talking with my mouth full. I mean, it's like almost three in the morning, and I'm very tired. This is really horrible. It's very spicy, but the noodles are like almost unswallowable because they're basically like undercooked. Oh no, they're spilling <laughs> onto my Alaska pot holder. These are much cheaper than the Asian store. They sell them for really? $2 at the Asian store. They were 95 cents. I want to eat a piece of noodle that touched this pot holder. This has been in my house without being washed for like a week. I don't see any cat hair on it. Actually, I see one cat hair. I see a lot of like grease on it. It's really nasty. I'm getting you over, over my pants too. This is really bad. Do you want to taste it on camera? Yeah, it's really bad. The can of tuna I was on the phone with you, deciding if I wanted to buy it or not. Korean tuna. Don Juan. Ingredients. Tuna, canola oil, water. 2% less of vegetable broth. Products of Korea. These are definitely lower grade of noodle. Than it's horrible. Sorry. It's horrible. The the flavor of it is the worst thing about it. Something. It just seems kind of like seasoning. I too don't taste strongly of the wrong kind of pepper. It doesn't really taste like hot pepper. It tastes like black pepper or something. Yeah. yeah it's making my throat itch a little bit. Yeah, it's gluten free, but it might have something made from corn in it. Yeah, my throat's been feeling like really scratchy. Or my throat might be itching because we've been cleaning out the mold, yeah. big my throat's been feeling bags super and boxes of clothing. Since, like, driving down. Because <laughs> I, I ordered some City, furniture from here. that's supposed to be delivered in a few days. <laughs> that is supposed to go into rooms that the floor was supposed to be finished in months ago. I can make a better suit. And the place. yeah, me too floor is not finished in those rooms yet so we've been moving all kinds of really heavy stuff big boxes of like VHS tapes that we can't watch because we don't have a working VHS player anymore because we had three VHS players and they all broke I think it might have been the same dirty tape that broke all of them and I've been moving big bags and boxes of clothing and some of the clothing had been stored in the back of my closet and was like really dusty. I didn't see any mold in my room. Excuse me, that soup is making me burp. I was about to say hiccups, but <laughs> I burped. <laughs> and I am really tired. I actually was going to go to Crescent City with the guys, but I didn't feel well, and I ended up uploading two videos onto YouTube, washing the dishes, and starting a load of laundry, and then I moved a few heavy boxes of VHS tapes. They actually weren't really heavy, because VHS tapes are really light, but they were like bulky, and some actually really heavy boxes of laundry. And then I fell asleep around 5 p.m., we gotta get some music because when and you're driving maybe, through the redwoods, no radio picks up anything. I'm not sure what time it was when I fell asleep, but then I woke up and it was 8 p.m. and I fed the cats, 
And then I fell back to sleep, and I woke up, it was like 1.30 in the morning, and the guys weren't back yet. And then they showed up at like 2, with Eugene, of course, asleep. When did he fall asleep? Trinidad. So he didn't fall asleep for like the whole drive back, so he was up until like 1.30 in the morning? Yeah. Oh, wonderful. I was shopping at Walmart from 8.30 till 10.30. Wow. I drove back. It didn't take long. When you checked out at Walmart, I've got to ask you a question because when I checked out at Walmart in Reading, the line was like a hundred people long or more, Mm -hmm. maybe like a hundred fifty people, and they all had shopping carts full of stuff. And for the longest time, they had one register open, then they opened to like like two or three more, and people were like freaking out and saying the f word, which Eugene was like repeating (laughs) louder than they were saying it. So people didn't even oh, no. hear the people muttering curses. They heard my three-year-old cursing. Hmm. And know, people were just like freaking out because were employees were like everywhere doing all kinds of stuff, but they weren't at the registers. Yeah, there was one register open, but there were literally eight or more self-checkout registers. And oh, that's good. What I used they had those closed the when I was at the Walmart in Reading. I had to use the register. Regular. I cannot eat that. I want one of my yeah. instant soups. I didn't like. use the regular register because we were getting Kirby and oh, they had got the security it to thing. register six, and so we went there and it was the only one open, but there was no one in line. At least you got Kirby. No one in line, yeah. The yeah. video game that's sold out at every single store at the moment in Humboldt County. Two weeks from now, it won't be. And then they um, said they were getting a shipment of them. To the Walmart in Crescent City on Monday. Is today Monday? It's Tuesday by now, isn't it? Or is it Wednesday by now? It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's after midnight. I was thinking if it was so, Wednesday, we had to take the trash out. This is how a sweep I am. 24 hours, like 12 they got hours. the shipment on Monday afternoon or something, and by the time you got there on Monday evening, they had one copy left. And the only reason they had one copy left is people are like poorer in Crescent City because if they got the same amount of copies here, they'd all be gone. Wow. You got the video game we couldn't get that we promised Eugene like a month ago. Yeah. Because they were going to get it at GameStop and they called GameStop and GameStop said they had like 40 copies and they no, went they down said there. they had one left. But they had like 40 copies like a few days before that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So by the time they got there, the one left copy was gone. Yeah. But you got it at Walmart. Eugene will be happy when he wakes up tomorrow oh, afternoon sometime. He played it on the way back. He here. played it? Oh, I forgot you brought the Switch with you. Yeah. yeah. The great video game system. You can bring it with you anywhere so your kid can just constantly play video games. Yeah, it's great for a long car rides. Yeah, it actually is. He might would have gotten a little fussy. Are you going to drink the broth with the yeah. vegetable chunks? Yeah. Tell the camera what they're like because I honestly <laughs> think that I'm allergic to something <laughs> like that. I give it a two star. I think it's dextrose that's made from corn. It's in the onion flavored oil. This has so many more ingredients than the Asian ones that I get. Something at the last of it's me They have like five ingredients. <clears throat> Beef bone extract, beef fat, chicken bone extract, chicken fat. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, Not good. Don't buy this. Unless you really like The smell sriracha. of it smells a little authentic, but it the texture horrible. is off. The taste is the worst thing, and the texture is like the second worst thing. I would say for me, the texture is the number one thing that's off. Yes. It's just, I can't get over that texture. It's just, you're eating plastic food totally. Yeah, right it's here. horrible. I'm sorry, but it's just wrong. They used to sell both of these at the Walmart in Crescent City, but they don't anymore. This one's ingredients are rice flour, salt, palm oil, garlic powder, monosodium glutamate, chili powder, and disodium 5 dash ribonucleotides. This one's really good. It doesn't say gluten-free on it, but there's no gluten in it. 
And this one has gluten in the vegetable packet, but the rest of it is gluten-free. But this company makes a rice porridge that's gluten-free. They also used to sell that at the Walmart in Crescent City. But they don't anymore for some reason. But if you make this without the vegetable packet, it's gluten-free. I've never had an allergic reaction to eating it with the vegetable packet not added. And my boyfriend usually has his with two vegetable packets. Eugene loved that house. He, he just felt so at home. He's like, take my boots off. He thought it was like a hotel room. He thought we were staying the night there. This says it has cornstarch in it. This didn't used to have cornstarch in it. What happened? Did they change the ingredients or did they have cornstarch in it that they didn't write in the label? Now I'm very irritated because I can't eat this anymore. What do you think of this? But this is gluten free if you're not allergic to corn. I'm just in shock. I've eaten this and it didn't say cornstarch on the ingredients and now it does. Why is it all wet? Was it raining outside? No, it was my hands. I'm so sorry. What is this strength from? Oh, God. All right. I started to put cornstarch in it. Oh, my God. This is such a good bag. All right, people. I'm not going to go on and on. I'm, like, falling asleep sitting here for some reason, even though I slept all day. I should like mop like the floor these? or something before I go to sleep. Do I like these? No, these have corn syrup in them. The ones with the um, same name, they're the same brand. They're in like a different kind of bottle, do not have corn syrup in them, and those are the ones I get. These normally have the tamarind I like root. these. These that normally have what? The tamarind root? The no, they type. have a different one that has the tamarind root from the same brand. Have you Roasted ever had coconut this? juice, water, coconut pulp, and sugar contains sulfites. There's no water in I this. haven't seen these. That is salt. Oh, I haven't had this. I've seen the same product with um, potassium metabisulfate or something like that listed on the ingredients. This one doesn't say what kind of sulfate it has, it just says contains sulfates. So they've changed their labeling on this too to not say what kind of sulfates it has. Have you ever Why? Had I swear that the one I bought just a few weeks ago actually said the name of the preservative that it had in it. Have you ever had this product? Only like in soups at Chinese restaurants. Weird. Yeah. Sorry, this people. Stuff is good. good night. I feel like I got such a good deal. You did. Only if they were 20 miles up, then it would have been tax free. I would have driven that much further. To Oregon? Yeah. All right. Why do Good I night. feel like it is like 8 o'clock in the afternoon? I don't even feel tired. Just because I was like sitting in the car or something. Driving that car is like playing a video game or something. It's not even like that hard. <laughs> it's just like really, really I don't easy. know why I feel like I'm falling asleep when I slept all day. I feel more tired <laughs> driving to Eureka and back than to Crescent City. All right, people, I'm going to try some of these bamboo shoots in my instant soup. And then I'm going to show you the reason I slept for hours today. I'm going to show you what I organized in my bedroom. There, that should be good. I also added a little bit of fish sauce and, as you can see, some green onion and cherry tomatoes. That should be much better than that. Sriracha soup. I'm gonna try a bite of the bamboo shoot. Mmm. That's really good. There was a noodle stuck to it. Yeah. This is gonna be much better than that sriracha soup, for sure. My cats are also eating their dinner. Look at how fluffy is eating. She's like scooping the last of the food out with her paw. Mm -hmm. Yes, I still have fluffy. And I'm wondering if 
Fluffy's owner has sleep because I haven't seen sleep in a few days and he's been outside for like a week. It's the neighborhood this, cat exchange. She's been a stray cat. Yeah. She might have just been a stray cat, which is why nobody ever claimed her when I posted the she log scan to the man. computer, like when no one's around, that's where he lounges. Oh I know. He wants to like lay on it. He likes to lay like between the computer and the hard drive. He likes to lay on the external hard drive because it's warm. I'm gonna have to mop he's, the floor in here before I go it. to sleep. He's like, it's lounge time. You guys are interfering with my lounge. There's like muddy footprints from like when you walked in with your boots with all the groceries. Sorry. It's One of the loads were so heavy it was like nearly impossible for me to take my boots off at that moment. That's okay. Mm -hmm. There's like two whole dishes of the Friskies cat food over here, but she's pawing out the last bit of that one. Actually, they whipped up all the broth and only the chunks are left. Spoiled cats. <laughs> Look at him go. Look at him. Look at shiny guy. He's That's his shiny favorite spot. spot. Here is my bedroom. It looks like such a nice place to sit down and play my keyboard. Now we need some kind of music like the music from Jaws going dun 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 <laughs> As you see how full my closet is and as you see that there is like stuff in boxes stacked up nearly to my ceiling, blocking access to my dresser. There, there's my dresser. That's okay. I'm actually getting a new dresser when I get my bed. It's coming with my bed. I'm getting a bed set that includes two dressers. But yes, my dresser is blocked. And after several days of my boyfriend and several friends helping me, Everything that I haven't thrown away from my house, everything that used to be in our bedrooms, the living room, the kitchen, and room C and D that we did not have to throw away and that is not outside is now taking up a quarter of my bedroom. At least, if not more, there is more stuff behind me that is not yet disorganized and is falling out of the boxes. And I'm not going to get a video of it right now because it is a mess. Behind me also is everything we need to install flooring in this room, which as you can see has only a subfloor, which was painted a very long time ago and is now dirty and scuffed and needs to be painted again before any flooring is installed in here. So this is the end result of people coming in my room and organizing my stuff for several days. My favorite part is the clothing, which is stacked up nearly to the ceiling and pressing against the poster, which may look clean from a distance, but is surely covered in dust and hair if you look at it up close. <laughs> yes, they stacked my clothes up. To the ceiling. I said to put clothes on the shelf. I didn't mean like this. This isn't even just my clothes. There's my boyfriend's clothes, Eugene's clothes, some bedding, some pillows, blankets, some towels, and other linens, just all kinds of stuff. And you can't open the door because there's stuff blocking the door. Sorry, I moved it so I could get a better video. Anyway. This, at least, will need to be moved, as well as a few other things. And I was hoping to have the flooring installed in here over a month ago, but since it is not installed in here, I'm going to purchase a rug to put down under my mattress, which is coming a few days before my bed. And then the rug will go under the bed. I am leaving my Mercedes here. I'm getting an Uber back to my house.
No one's ever hassled me before, and no I, one has certainly ever hassling. started yelling at me. I'm, no, you're the one who started yelling. You threatened to dump me off on the side of the road. You're, you're getting out. I'm not getting out. I'd like to just go back to my house. Can I please out. go back this to my house? This is my personal property, okay? I'm taking you back to where I found you. That's where you're going to start from. What? Can't you just take me back to my house? I'm not. You can't. Be quiet. I'm not going to take any abuse from you. I'm not being abusive. I'm only saying that. You, I, I, I will make the. I will make that determination. Please just drop me back to my house. Don't give me the please and bullshit anymore. Excuse me. Please don't curse at me.